Trish from the Cadbury Kitchen is going to be making some baklava. Now, not a traditional baklava with layers of honey syrup mm -hmm. and lots of different nuts. There's still nuts in it, but we're adding chockey. We are. <laughs> so we're making chocolate baklava. Sounds pretty good. It does. So first up, we need to combine some filly in the saucepan mm -hmm. with some chocolate. And I've got the dark chocolate melt today. And that should melt down really quickly. The um, melts are formulated to melt really quickly together. And with the filly, we just need to get that to melt down. And then we're going to add some nuts, which I need you to chop, please. I can do that. So you've got a combination of hazelnuts here. We've got almonds and walnuts. Walnuts, yeah. And you've just toasted them lightly. OK. Happy? Yep, that looks great. So, are these going in your cool mm -hmm. down chocolate mixture there? Mm -hmm. It's thickened up nicely, hasn't it? Yeah, it looks great. It smells good too. This is like a chocolate nut spread now. Mmm, mm, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just need to combine that together and then we need to get working on the phyllo. Okay. So, the phyllo pastry, just we need to have uh, two sheets together mm -hmm. and buttered in between. So how many sausages, if you like, does this make? Well, it's going to make three. So we actually need six pieces of phyllo in all. OK. And i got my big paintbrush. It makes life so much easier with these bigger ones. Yeah, it makes it a bit quicker, that's for sure. And there you go. First layer. Beautiful. Oh, now, while I'm waiting here, yeah. I've got some ground hazelnuts mm -hmm. and a little sugar. And we can just mix that together with some cinnamon. And then we need to just do a bit of a sprinkle between the layers. So mm. that gives lots of yummy flavour. So it's the yeah. spices that you'd expect from baklava. Yep. And I'll sandwich that with another sheet, matching them together. A bit more butter? A little bit more, I think. Yeah. So we'll just paint that. Great. Perfect. So we break this chocolate mixture mm -hmm. into three. Mm -hmm and then sort of just spread it along the phyllo. We just need to fold in the edges mm -hmm. and then roll up. Oh, I can do that for you. Ooh. So tuck those sides in and nice and tight. Mm -hmm. That is very easy. Done. Perfect. Now we need to put that seam side down on the tray. Okay. And you can brush it with a little bit more butter. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit more of that mixture of nuts and sugar and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And Trishy, how long are we cooking your baklava in the oven for? <laughs> Around about 15 to 18 minutes in a moderate oven. Wonderful. Well, we'll make a few more mm -hmm. and then we'll bake them, cool them down slightly and have a little taste, maybe with a little coffee. Sounds good to me. Look, so good. Mm, they do, don't they? They smell even better. I can smell chucky and the hazelnuts and mm. all the nuts, really. And all that beautiful crispy pastry, too. And you do need to let it cool down Absolutely. a little bit. Absolutely. All right, can I take this off? I might use a little spatula here to carefully, carefully. put one in front of you. <laughs> here we go. So I'm going to go in the middle. Let's have, I can't wait to see inside it. And I think. Sometimes Ooh. to put a little cut on it kind of makes it fun. Have a look at that. It's a good chalky, oh yeah, chunky, nutty goodness. I'm not going to wait. I think I'll just dig in. Okay. What do you think? What do you think of that? Okay. Very good. <laughs> I love it. What was that? I knew I would like this as soon as I saw that you mixed that chocolate with the nuts because I love that combination. And that with the crunchy phyllo, that crunchy topping, makes this a really great afternoon stack. And like you said, with a little coffee on the side would make this absolutely perfect. Uh -huh. mm. Oh look, perfect. Oh. One for you too. Excellent. Cheers, Trish. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm.